Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Kentucky Route Zero. My name is Weasel, and let's play around with the radio. I kind of want to see if we can catch anything. I I can't hear a word. That sounds good. That sounds very... I don't know why it sounds Christmassy. Everything sounds Christmassy right around this time of year. I... whatever, it's fine. We're, we're not going to fuzz around too long with that. Um, so... We're going to the nightclub. That's as far as I remember. Uh, let's grab the notes. Over by Charlie Moran Highway, just east of 65. Take a right of 65 around the petting zoo. Okay, no problem. If we can find the petting zoo, shouldn't be too hard. It's probably, uh, there's probably signs for the petting zoo everywhere. Uh, and we're being followed. Is that, no, that's the burning tree. That's, that's the burning, there's the petting zoo. Fantastic. Then we're going to take off, right? I mean, we can have a quick look. The betting zoo is closed. Oh no. Oh no. And there's a tavern, which we're going to enter to watch them. Well, perform, I guess. Act three, scene three. Yay. The lower depths. Is that is that a bar? I forgot. Maybe the bar is called the lower depths. I, I yeah, it is. Okay, it, it is. Alright, hey Blue. You're gonna have to stay out, I guess. Doesn't feel right. Feels a little like home, huh? Um Honestly. Feels, I mean, doesn't feel right, I guess. Feels dead here. Feels like a deep pit. Like a snare. I wonder if sometimes, if I'm really up here or still down below. Wait, what? Still down below? I'm not entirely sure. Are you Are you the devil? I, I have no idea what that means. Alright, let's go ahead and check out the bar. I wonder if the wall disappears. That would be so cool. Dumpster. What, why are we looking into the dumpster? The trash bin is filled. Several pairs of working shoes, a few hats, and a small Ziploc bag with three pairs of eyeglasses. What an odd accumulation of items. Kind of late. Are you sure they're open? Mm, sure, they're open. This is one of those places. Well, let's head in. We're not saints, but we've kept our appointment. How many people can boast as much? That's lovely, ma'am. Who said it? A poet. Okay, wonderful. I'm, I'm glad we learned a thing today. Oh, you're you're going to perform here? Oh, this is this is depressing. Ooh, sandwich. Ooh, yes, please. A rough break between two pieces of stale bread sits in the center of the table, surrounded by a ring of undisturbed dust. How long has that sandwich been sitting there? I still can't get over my cool robo legs. Ma'am, I hate to say it, but the cupboard is bare. Have some vision, cricket. We've got one, two, four patrons. Harry doesn't count. Well, we've done more with less. Um, what kind of music do you play? Do you play your often? I haven't been in a bar like this since. Uh, what kind of music do you play? It's like cry what? Cyrano Cole meets Ike Towner, but with a woman lead, and the keyboards are kind of ambient whisper wave. A little bit more reverb. There's some Dolly Cron in there too, like the early stuff before she joined the Sheet Swingers. Better drum programming though. Whisper wave, got it. I don't know who these people are. Yeah, whisper wave, got it. I think he gets it, ma'am. Oh, he gets it. I totally get it. Super get it. I mean, good good for you for making music. Hey, bar bartenderino man, person, what's going on? Uh, all I'm pouring tonight is hard times whiskey. Got any coffee going? No coffee, hard time whiskey. Yelling towards exit. Say, shut the GD door, would you? I can't afford to run the AC all night. Sorry, Harry. Oh, it's you two. Where have you been? Never mind, listen, I can't keep this place open through the small hours of the night just waiting for musicians. Where is everyone? Everyone had to go, um, clear out. Well, let's get set up, huh? There's nobody here to listen to it. I can't pay for it. We brought some people, Harry. A crowd is forming. <laughs> yeah, but I also couldn't you use a break, Harry. Don't you want to hear some music, Harry? Don't you trust me, Harry? Yeah, you need a break, Harry. Been on my feet all day. But I, well... I guess they're just starting. You go ahead and knock yourself out. Ezra flips eagerly through the juice box catalog of song. What do you think? I don't know how to play this game. <laughs> All right, are you guys gonna perform now for us? That sounds good. Oh, there's some goggles on the table, for what it's worth. Well, we're gonna we're gonna sit down. We're gonna listen in. We're gonna enjoy some whisper wave, whatever that is. Favorite favorite musical genre. How's it looking out there? How are you all feeling tonight? Can we get a bit more reverb in the monitors? Harry just sounds bar behind the bar. How's that? Test, 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 one, two, three, fifty, lamentation, lamentation. Sounds good. How's everybody doing? Anybody had a real bad night? 
How about you, old man? Yeah, real bad. I kind of lost my leg. We'll try to not make it much worse. This is a song I heard in a town many years ago at an open mic night. Me and Johnny were out just riding around, you know, just like to drive around, old man. Uh, that's where I feel at home. Of course you do. So we're out riding around and past this gaudy old tavern. I mean, it was a real drive. Busted up facade, weeds in the parking lot, taps all dry, bats in the bar room. And run by this creaky bag of bones. Looked like the only thing keeping him awake was the fear of death. So glad to be back here at the lower depths. Hey now. So we stopped for an early... Oh, get it. <laughs> and there was a lady singing right here on stage. And the song she sang, well, it stuck with us. And it's a regular part of our repertoire. Never got that lady's name, but she seemed like a sweet gal. And she had a voice like scotch whiskey. And we just hope she do her, we do her song justice. So here it is. Too late to love you. Oh. Okay, now I'm impressed. The ceiling is floating away. That is a pretty... Pretty good... That's the mark of a really good artist. If the ceiling is slowly flying away, then that's that's usually pretty good. I do like the costumes, though. to choose the lyrics hmm when you left me that's always a good start am I going to have to rhyme this because I'm, I'm really bad at rhyming Hitting those notes right on the key. no specific plan what I'm selecting.
That was beautiful, I gotta say. I, I decided to be completely quiet, and I gotta say, this game is amazing when it comes to setting, like, a mood or a tone, and the visuals are just great. I'm not entirely sure why anything is happening in here, but that's okay, for once. Uh, I wanted to have a look at the goggles, but let's, let's talk, well, first let's talk to the artist. Oh, too late, we're talking to Harry. That's fine. What do you think, Harry? Well, Harry, I think that went pretty well. I'd say the crowd was into it. Reverential. Wrapped. I guess the usual fee's about right. And we'll let you get back to your business. Well, that's just the... Damn it, I was trying to tell you to, I can't pay. They cleaned me out, I've got nothing left but a GD IOU from the distillery. An IOU. Yeah, I traded them some... I traded them for some whiskey, and I guess I had a surplus credit, so I got the snowed to get some more from them later on. Must have been a hell of a trade. I had to. Got to keep this place open somehow. God damn it. What's your language, Harry? Hmm, could you pay them with your IOU? Um, well, I... Very contemporary, very astute. How about it, Harry? Let's push some paper around. Well, it's just... I can't collect it on there when they bring more whiskey up, but for you to cash it in, you'd have to go down to, you know, to, to the distillery, down to hard times, and you know it's... You've got to take the zero. So that's what we'll do. How do we get there? Mm, you said you knew how to get there? No, I don't believe that's exactly what I said. Mm, it's exactly what you said. Are you folks sure you want to head down there? I've never been myself, but I hear people hear, hear things. Rumors. Hmm, what does Conway say? Do you know another way to Dogwood Drive? Uh, it's where we've got to go. Well, I'll tell you then. I, I guess I'm just going there now. Why not? Well, Dogwood Drive, whatever. It'll take a while. It's gonna be fine. Well, I'll tell you then. But this is it, right? We're square. Harry, you're all right. If only. You've got a radio in your car? Yep. Well, here's what you got to do. Take a left out of the parking lot, then just fiddle around on your dial until you hear something familiar, but... I mean, familiar but strange. You know the feeling? Like, I used to go hunt with my uncle out in the mountains, and now I watch these nature programs. They're filmed on the mountains, and there's a deer, and I know all the plants and every kind of tree, but... Something just doesn't look right. And it's even stranger for being so close to familiar. Something like that. You you'll know it when you hear it. Fix that strange but familiar station on your dial, drive for a bit, and then turn around when the station cuts out. I mean, right then. Hope you folks find what you're looking for, eventually. Always a pleasure, Harry. Always a pleasure. Is it? Is it really? Alright, come on folks, we're heading to the zero. We're heading to the zero. I have no idea what station we will have to select. Like, familiar, but strange. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. We will figure something out, no problem. Okay, so... That doesn't look familiar at all, no. Or sound. This station doesn't quite match that bartender's description. Definitely weird, though. Let's keep scanning. He'd said we know it if we heard it. Okay. Well, thank you, game, for telling me. This sounds like... It sounds, sounds fuzzy? I wanna say? What's the station? I've never heard this before. Sounds like... Horses. Horses running. A race? Wait, what? Lizette and Ira had some horses way back. I just hear fuzz. Charlie and I used to go to races sometimes. Charlie, he was your boss's kid, right? The one who, uh, yeah, must be some memories there. Well, it fits the familiar but strange for me. Harry said we drive until it cuts out. Okay. I, I, I hope that works. Because it doesn't sound like horses right now. Right now, I just hear static. Did, did I really set it the right way? There you go. Now I hear the horses. What? What's happening? Oh, wait, I hear- Oh, horses! Yay! That's definitely horses. Just raising around. That's fine. That's- that's normal. Then again, that, that- that could happen. Just horses, you know, grazing on the road. For whatever reason, they would graze there. Doesn't really make a lot of sense. Oh. Okay, we'll just keep going until it cuts out, I guess. Hall of the Mountain King. Fascinating. I'm just gonna keep going and I'm not gonna go to the Hall of the Mountain King. As great as that sounds. We're trying... A quick look on the notes. No notes yet. Okay. We're just gonna keep going. We're just scanning through. Trying to find something of relevance. Sounds nothing like I would need, so let's just keep going. And I'm pretty sure the game... Okay. Hall of the Mountain King. Maybe the Mountain King can tell us where we need to go. 
Act 3, Scene 4. So we made progress. I'm going to be sad if I don't hear the music, Hall of the Mountain King. Great song. Or classical piece, whatever. All right, hey, let's talk to Blue. I always like talking to Blue. There's something calming about that. Hey, girl. What do you suppose happened here? They don't keep the roads up too well, do they? <laughs> Never have. I know how you hate to hit a pothole, Blue. May as well walk. All right, that's what we're going to do. All right, let's talk to Johnny. That's fascinating. Time to cut him loose, ma'am. Well, now I'm having fun. You bored? Nah, it's a snow night anyway. I'm happy just tagging along. Glad to hear. The bridge ends abruptly, crumbling into despair. Uh, what about the boardwalk? Yeah, let's go up the boardwalk. Fascinating. Oh, yeah, it pops into existence. Okay, a robe. What are we doing with the robe? We're just gonna hang. I see a dog box, a kennel over there. Uh, a crate. That's what I was looking for. A loop of decayed rope is called up on the banister. Some rotted sections have been smoothed over with fine dust. Alright, we're just gonna keep going. I can see this dog crate. Oh, computers. I mean, why not? Broken computer monitors are heaped precariously among the rocks. Yeah, why would you store them here? That seems rather odd. Then again, this whole world is kinda odd. Pet carrier. A pet carrier for a cat or small dog has been left by the path. A calcified rag wadded in the corner may have once been a blanket. Oh, is that... that's her sister, isn't it? Looks like it. Looks very much like it, actually. Maybe she's the Mountain King. <gasps> Illuminati confirmed. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. What about the backpack? What about the fire? Fine, we'll just talk to Amy. Oh, it's triangles within triangles down here. Shifting, intersecting, overlaying. Isn't it romantic? Let's see. You're here to steal back the love of a boy you once knew when you were too young to recognize the movements of the heart. And you're escorting her, pretending to have her interest at heart, well, really... Really, you're in love with the young woman as well. And so you agree to help him conspire to win her affections, but it's just a ploy to set him out for embarrassment and diminish him out of the picture. What? I'm into it. What are you talking about? Nope, you're right, it's insipid. De what? Derivative? I used to be really good at this. I had 11 novels published from the billionaire's bidding to fields of longing, real hot, bodice ripping stuff, you know? I miss those days in my Lexington studio apartment, just me and my thesaurus steaming up the windows. Why did you stop writing? You know, suddenly it was all computers everywhere you went. I thought I might be able to do something with that. Inject a little libido into those ugly beige boxes. Ha! <laughs> so I went back to the university and studied human-computer interaction and picked up Donald's research assistantship here as a tester. Debugging. In my off hours, I played around with the doomed love story at the core of our little simulation. That seemed to amuse Donald, so I kept at it. I'm afraid I tinkered too much, made it too complex. Now our work is never done. We don't even have to add new functionality. The bugs just grow on their own too complex. I miss those days in my Lexington studio apartment. Ha. Huh. Okay. I have no idea what you're talking about, woman, but that's okay. I don't I don't need to know. I trust you completely. Donald puffs on a smoldering pipe while half mumbling, half singing an old country tune. Where the old green river runs, through hills and caves not known to us, down to that sunless sea. Oh, who are you? Sorry, did we startle you? I might say you did. I thought you might be one of them. Oh, no, you can't be. We've been patching all their spy holes. We keep the lights dim and the motors running softly and we route the smoke, smoke out through... That's this. Uh, what were we talking about? Uh, what's a computer over there? Looks pretty vintage. We're a bit lost, actually. Ah, you came from the road, the zero. No, you should stay off that road. Not safe, bizarre topology. You'll never get anywhere. It just brings you right back here. The bridge is out down there. Mm, yeah, we're quite marooned in this moment, but I don't mind, not anymore. This is where my life's work is. The computer, right on the other side of the spire. It looks like a harmless old computer, doesn't it? Like some beat-up mainframe exhumed from a university basement and left in this cave to rot. Or to flower. No, it's no ordinary computer. I've modified it extensively and in some 
pretty experimental ways, believe you me. And that's to say nothing on the software, but... Hmm, you look like a technically minded sort of person. Tell me, do you know the effects of grow... What? Mold growth on diffuse based transistor circuitry. The mold would burn up. Exactly, it burns. Oh, and the sweet smoke that issues from it. But it also leaves a sticky residue to seep through the machine, forming new connections and creating new circuits. The computer is no longer the pure domain of language or mathematics, but entropy. Thwarted and feeble, we hammer on its derelict keyboard. My name is Reason, King of Kings. But we meet tourists in the ruins. Our keystrokes echo off in the tunnels. Boundless and bare, and the caves stretch far away. We're too late. Always too late. What? Did you say something? Um... I'm just interested in the mold computer. The mold computer, the... Oh, Xanadu! You've heard about it. Perhaps you've read about it in a journal? It's been years since I published anything. Xanadu has evolved significantly since I explained its data structures in my article Literary Multitudes Hypertextual Narrative as Post-Structural Witness. Evolved and then deteriorated. Donald Seiss dramatically takes a puff from his pipe. I'm afraid you're too late, fellow hypertext enthusiast. As the mold accumulated on the circuitry, Xanadu blossomed for a moment into something holy and enchanted, and then all the charm was broken. Do you have any idea what it's like to spend your life building something, and then sit powerlessly as your work declines into ruin? Um... Oh, wow, okay. So Conway says, I drive deliveries for a small antique shop and we're closing down. Shannon says, I fix TVs and I'm about to lose the lease on my workshop. As well, my family disappeared. Julian and me don't know what to do. Junebug, not really. It's interesting how these different characters have problems. Um, Sure, let's uh, go with our main guy, Conway. Ah, shuffling around the dusty ghost of antiquity. Well, I have my own ghost and I keep them in there, in Xanadu. It's running on that glorious dusty machine. Take a look if you like. Too late to do anything but smoke and reminisce in any way. Far too late to do anything. What is it with this machine? I'm gonna have a look. I don't know who Andrew is, but I want to look at Xanadu. Oh, there's a gate? Is that where it brings me to the computer? A massive gate constructed out of scavenged material box passage down the far side of the spire. Where's Xanadu? Xanadu. Wait, is, is, I guess everything is Xanadu. Everything is Xanadu. Or this block over there is Xanadu. Looks like it is. You know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna interact with Xanadu. I wanna know what 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 is the hap hap? What's the haps? How do you think we get it started? Why would we get it started? This whole thing, maybe there's a hand crank around here. Oh, it has a run key. That'll do. I see a projector lens. If I'm not mistaken. Xanadu. Oh. Fascinating. I get to draw on the screen. Hi. Ooh, my. Yeah, that's that's one of the old computers. They they have these round screens. Fascinating. You 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 worry me, computer. I have a hard time making out anything. Hey Xanadu. Um Um Sure. Huh, this thing is in rough shape. Do these switches do anything? Try blowing on it. Yeah, let's do that. Conway blows on some dust off the keyboard and presses the return key. No, Xanadu isn't really too excited about its process right now. That's worse. Try typing help. It kind of looks like a house. Type house. House. Nope. Not, not really getting better. That poor thing. I bled quit. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Maybe? I like to imagine that it's bleeding. It, it looks like it's an utter pain. Computer crying on their backs and being... Did that say Lula? Time for some progressive maintenance. Thumps the side of the machine with his palm. Oh, I have my portable Degasso with me. Old system like this can build up a remnant magnetic field that sort of warps everything along whatever pattern it's settled into, you know? The Degasso clears that up by suddenly shaking the magnetic field around it until it's uniform again. That's how I like to think of it anyway. Like shaking a snow globe. Worth a shot. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's quiet. Hall of the Mountain Gink. Well? Oh my. Let's, let's try that again. No, Xanadu is not happy. Well, okay. No, is that, is that so, 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 salvation maybe? <clears> hmm. <throat> where, where you, where you set up? 
Premature file press key to quit. This is a lost cause, what a piece of junk. Poor, poor Xanadu. Poor buddy. Can, can we not do anything with it? Doesn't look like it. Bizarre. And what about Lula? Maybe Donald knows how to clear it up a bit. Well, let's talk to Donald. Hey, Donald. Donald! We need to clear up your weird computer here. All right, Donald. Let us know what's what's what what can we do? So you've seen it for yourself. What's left of it? Uh, pretty busted. The chalky bones of a beautiful dream. But you can see what it once was, can't you? Can't you? There was so much more to it. Ornate labyrinths of memory, exhaustively simulated parallel calf cave ecosystems, real artificial intelligence built on sophisticated neural network algorithms. The birds in the forest could flock in three dimensions, the bats could learn to sing. And then it began to crumble when the strangers came. At first we only heard them. Walking heavily through the caves, dragging things around, hammering and clattering their tools. Sometimes we heard working sounds, never close enough to make up real voices. Just their echoes cascading wordlessly in the tunnels. Then we caught a glimpse of one. What did it look like? It looked like... No, it's too horrible. I shouldn't be telling you about this. They're dangerous. They're strange. I should have never had tried to outwit them. They're always too much for me, but it's too late now. If I'd listened to Lula, I... Lula? Lula Chamberlain? Yes, of course. Oh, do you know her? Well, we're looking for her now. No, she's gone now. She left. We built us together. Did you know? Lula, Joseph, and I. Lula has gone from here, but Donald points across the cave with his pipe. Still in here. In Xanadu. I don't know where Lula is now, or how to get there from there, or how to unwind that damn tangled highway, but Xanadu before its ruin was faultless as an oracle. A shrine to perfect simulation. Until... maybe? Those weird interlopers destroyed my Xanadu. Perhaps they know how to fix it. It may be dangerous. I've seen many years seconds to negotiate with them. To repair my masterpiece. Back there, that tunnel. Push back the vines. Crawl out into the darkness. Watch your step. After a while, you feel the terrain change beneath your hands and knees. From rock to crystal and then to mud. Then you'll be out. That's where the strangers come from. Now leave me alone. I have a bit of mold in my pipe and a few dreams left. Well then. I have no idea where this went. None whatsoever. Where do strangers come from? I guess we're gonna make our way through the caves. Alright, it's a graveyard. That's exactly where I want it to be right now. At night, when it's foggy. That's not worrisome at all. 